University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. It's time once again to train a quizzical eye on two teams of students as they entertain us with their efforts to win a place in the second round of this competition. Both teams tonight represent sizeable institutions, each with a formidable reputation, especially in teaching the sciences, engineering and business. Now, Imperial College London is one of the bigger beasts in this competition. They were series champions in 1996 and again 2001. Earlier this year, we saw them lift the trophy for the third time. The college was formed from several 19th century institutions and was part of the University of London for much of its existence before achieving independence in 2007. Alumni include the discoverer of penicillin, Sir Alexander Fleming, the cricketer W.G. Grace, the missionary David Livingston, and the musician Brian May. Playing on behalf of around 18,000 students and with an average age of 19, let's meet the Imperial team. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm from Hong Kong and I study maths. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm from the Peak District and I study physics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm from North London and I study maths. Hi, I'm Imran. I'm from Petaling Chai in Malaysia and I study theoretical physics. Now, the University of Strathclyde is the more senior of tonight's two teams, tracing its origins to an institution founded in 1796 by John Anderson, a forward-thinking professor at Glasgow University. It received its royal charter in 1964 and is now the third largest university in Scotland. Alumni include the inventor John Logie Baird, who's got a great deal to answer for. The comedian Ed Byrne went there, as did Alex Kapranos of Franz Ferdinand fame and Lauren Mabry of the band Churches, playing on behalf of around 23,000 students and with an average age of 29. Let's meet the Strathclyde team. Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm from Glasgow and I'm studying statistics. Hi, I'm David. I'm from Glasgow and I study civil engineering. This is their captain. Hi, I'm James. I'm from Glasgow and I'm studying for a PhD in power systems. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm not from Glasgow. I'm from London and I'm studying for a PhD in speech and language therapy. Well, the rules are the same as ever. Ten points for starter questions. You had to answer those on the buzzer by yourselves. Fifteen points for bonuses. They're team efforts. If you interrupt a starter question incorrectly, you'll lose five points. Right, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. What colour links the field of the flag of the Basque country, William Morris's house in Bexley Heath... Strathclyde Star Marshal. Red. Red is correct. <laughs> right, you get the first set of bonuses on cliffs. Firstly, for five points, home to a major seabird colony, which cliff near Bridlington in Yorkshire is Britain's only northern chalk sea cliff. Whitby? No, it's Flamborough Head. In which US state are the Vermilion Cliffs, a national monument that includes the fossilised sandstone rock formation known as the Wave? Dakotas or something? Yeah, South Dakota. No, they're in Arizona. More than twice the size of the UK, which large island is the location of Thor Peak? Its west face is the world's greatest purely vertical drop at more than 1,200 metres. Thor Peak. Okay, maybe it's Svalbard. Svalbard? No, it's Baffin Island. Ten points for this. What given name was shared by daughters of John Frederick Margrave of Brandenburg Ansbach and Charles II, Duke of Brunswick? Both of them became the Queen Consort of a Hanoverian King of England. Imperial Murrow. Caroline. Caroline is correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses, Imperial, are on styles of windows. In each case, name the style from the definition. Firstly, a perpendicular window located in a sloping roof. They may be crowned with pediments, and they often provide light for attic bedrooms. I was going to say attic ones, but... Garret? No. Um, garret? Yeah, I have no idea. Can I nominate you? Uh, what else? Oculus is maybe? Oculus. Um, Oculus. Oculus. I, I, I nominate Mary. Garret? 
No, it's a dormer window. <laughs> Secondly, an arched window immediately flanked by two smaller non-arched windows, popularised in northern Italy and named after a 16th-century Italian architect. 16th century Italian. Hmm? It could be Palladio Benini. I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard of a Beninian window, so I'm just going to nominate you again. <gasps> nominate Mauro. Palladian? Correct. Oh, it's no. nice. A window frame that is hinged on one vertical side, thirdly, and which swings open to either the inside or the outside of the building. They often occur in pairs. I've no idea <laughs> about windows. Should we just pass? Yeah. Pass. They're casement windows. Right, ten points for this. Caused by the growth of cork-like layer on the skin, what name is given to the rough reddish-brown patches that develop on certain cultivars of apple, pear and potato? <laughs> Imperial Rust. Marrow. Rust? Nope. You lose five points, I'm afraid, Imperial. And in the first scene of Hamlet, Horatio uses the same term in reference to the dawn. Uh, Strathclyde Star Marshal. Is it canker? No, it's russet or russeting. Right, ten points for this starter question. According to John Ruskin, no person who is not a great sculptor or painter can be a member of what profession? Ambrose Bierce defined it as one who drafts a plan of your house and plans a draft of your money. <laughs> uh, Strathclyde Star Marshal. Architect? Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on mathematics, Strathclyde. First awarded in 2003, what annual prize was initially championed by the Norwegian mathematician Sophus Lee? Because the Nobel Prize lacked mathematics as a category. Fields Medal. Fields Medal. No. Just go back. Abel. Abel is correct. In differential topology, a Lee bracket represents what type of operation on vector fields? Um, could that be Could that be uh, dot product? No, it's commutation. And finally, for what do the letters SU stand in groups subject to Lie algebra? Pass. It's special unitary. We're going to take a picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see a map showing the area of a large river delta. For ten points, name the major river that feeds it which has been highlighted within the delta in red. Uh, Strathclyde Whittle. Is it the Mississippi? It is the Mississippi, yes. <laughs> so we follow on from the Mississippi River Delta with picture bonuses showing three more major deltas. Again, you simply need to name the main river feeding each. Firstly... Oh, the Volga? It is the Volga emptying into the Caspian. Secondly... Yeah, that was at the Amazon. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what? I think it was that too. Yeah. No, that's the Orinoco, I think. Uh, the Orinoco? That is the Orinoco. The yeah. island there is Trinidad. And finally... It's the Mekong. Uh, the Mekong? It is the Mekong, yes. <laughs> well done. Ten points for this. Born in 1802, which English physicist invented the concertina and the Playfair cipher, but is perhaps best known for an eponymous bridge that measures electrical resistance? Imperial Kong. Wheat Wheatstone? Wheatstone is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on art in 1964. Firstly, a hovering green apple obscures the face of a bowler-hatted figure in The Son of Man. A work of 1964 by which artist? Magritte. Correct. Who painted the problem we all live with, depicting a young black girl being escorted to school by US Marshals in New Orleans? Norman Rockwell. Correct. The words, Oh, Jeff, I love you too, but... appear in a speech bubble on a 1964 work by which artist? Yeah. Roy Lichtenstein. Correct. Ten points for this. The name of what mammal appears within the words that satisfy each of the following definitions? The official proving of a will, a Latin term meaning word for word, 
And the bird, the burden's ah. the ancient mariner. Strathclyde Welsh. Bat. Bat is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on television series that have won the Hugo Award, one of science fiction's greatest accolades. Name each of the following winners in the category of best short-form dramatic presentation. Firstly, which comedy set in the afterlife won in 2018 for its episode The Trolley Problem? Michael, an immortal, forces a deceased philosophy professor through hundreds of iterations of his thought experiment. The Good, the good Place. Uh, the Good Place. Correct. Secondly, winning in 2015 for its season two finale, which science fiction drama stars Tatiana Maslany as multiple characters who are all clones of one another. Is it Orphan Black? Yeah. Orphan Black. Yeah. Orphan Black. Orphan Black. Orphan Black. Correct. Which British series has won this award a record six times for episodes including The Girl in the Fireplace, The Pandorica <laughs> Opens and Blink? <laughs> Doctor Who. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. A Norse word meaning bay is the derivation of the name of which fishing port in Caithness, a terminus of the Far North Railway Line. The same four-letter word appears as a suffix in the name of the largest ah. town in Shetland. Strathclyde Whittle. Wick. Wick is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on plastics, as designated by the Plastics Industry Association Identification Code. Firstly, designated as Polymer Code 1, the widely recycled compound PET stands for polyethylene what? Uh, tetrafluoride. No, it's terephthalate. And secondly, designated as code 2, the form of polyethylene abbreviated to HDPE is used for bottle caps and water pipes. For what do the letters HD stand? High density. Yeah. High density. Correct. Designated as code 5 and used for a variety of applications, PP stands for what compound? Polypropylene. 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 Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> First performed in Vienna not long before the composer's death, which German language singspiel was Mozart's last opera? It's characters... Imperial La Clemenza di Tito. No. You lose five points, I'm afraid, Imperial. Was Mozart's last opera. Its characters include the lovers Pamina and Tamino and Strip the bird... Whittle. The magic flute. The magic flute is correct, of course. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on an American state. The Badlands National Park and the Jewel Cave and Wind Cave systems are among the natural features of which Midwest state? Come on. Utah or something? Yeah, come on. Utah? No, it's South Dakota. The mining town of Deadwood is located in which hills in the border region between South Dakota and Wyoming? The hills also contain Mount Rushmore. Any ideas? Catskills, but I think they might be too far. Catskills? No, they're in New York. It's the Black Hills. In 1948, the local chief Henry Standing Bear and the sculptor Korzak Jewelkowski initiated work on a monumental stone memorial in the Black Hills to which Native American leader? Oh, I could be Sitting Bull, but I can't remember. Just call it that. Yeah. Sitting Bull? No, it's Crazy Horse. Right, we're going to take a music round for you. A music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music. For ten points, give me the name under which this duo perform. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Uh, Strathclyde Welsh. Outcast. Outcast is correct, yes. And we follow on from Outcast. Strathclyde, with your bonuses, three more significant acts from the Atlanta rap and hip-hop scene. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly, I want the lead artist on this 2003 track, Featuring Shauna. Come on, we gonna party tonight. Y'all use mouth to mouth, bring the party to life. Don't be scared, show another party of life. The more drinks in your system, the harder to fight. When I move, you move. Oh, we'll when I move, yeah. <laughs> when I move, you move. Hell yeah, ABJ, bring that back. Just like that. 
things. Just, just, just a word. Like I'm not. Just pass. Pass. Very wise. Yes, it's <laughs> ludicrous. Secondly, this artist. I got a pack of hungry wolves, and if I don't feed them, then they might turn only feel like I don't need them. I keep the best of the creep, but hell, I don't need them. I just can't. 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 I Cotton candy, my cup tastes like the fifth cotton. Straight up there, where we did it. Face my fears, face my mama tears. We'll just put a spot you'll take you. I think you'll be spotting a pattern here. We, 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 we don't know. That's me, Ross. Right, ten points for this. What organ of the body links the first line of Keats's Ode to a Nightingale with the Strathclyde Star Marshal? Heart is correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on the Back from the Brink conservation project, the aims of which include protecting 20 species threatened with extinction in England. In each case, name the species from the description. Firstly, with subdued colouring, a tit somewhat smaller than the great tit. Its common name comes from the Salix genus of trees. Fur tit? No, it's a willow tit. And secondly, a rare bumblebee with a reddish orange tail. Its name refers to its high pitched buzz. Squealing bee? Or <laughs> Squealing bee? That's the shrill card of bee. And finally, Martis Martis, a member of the weasel family, distinguished by a creamy white patch on its throat. A pine martin? It is a pine martin, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. In 1735, Leonard Euler proved that there was no solution to a mathematical puzzle based on the seven ah. bridge... Strathclyde Welsh. Konigsberg. Konigsberg is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Strathclyde, are on truth. A short history of truth, consolations for a post-truth world, is a work of 2017 by which prolific author, also noted for the pig that wants to be eaten? Come on. Um, yeah. Naomi Klein. No, it's Julian Bagini. Secondly, a former chief book critic for the New York Times and described by one commentator as the most powerful book critic in the English-speaking world, which Japanese-American wrote the 2018 work The Death of Truth? I don't know. Do you have a guess? I have no guess. Sorry. Pass. That was Michiko Kakutani. And finally, elected MP for Birmingham Yardley in 2015, who wrote Every Woman, One Woman's Truth About Speaking the Truth. Just name a female MP. Jess Phillips. Correct. Well Ten points for this. <laughs> Typically found in granite rock formations, which gemstone is a silicate and fluoride of aluminium and has a value eight? On the most Imperial Kong. Topaz. Topaz is correct, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on approximations. Used in quantum chemistry, the BO approximation was introduced in 1927 by J. Robert Oppenheimer and which German physicist? German, German Einstein. Einstein. Begin probably B. Or B. So Born. Yeah. Okay, Born. Max Born is correct. Useful in electronics, what approximation is an expansion of a periodic function in terms of an infinite sum of sines and cosines? Fourier series. Fourier series? Correct. Finally, in mathematics, Stirling's formula is used to approximate what? Yeah, the factorial function. Factorials is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What five-letter word links an ironic synonym for force in Evelyn Waugh's scoop and the second word of the name of the alternative rock group, often known by the initials TMBG. 
Imperial Kong. Beast? No. Strathclyde Welsh. Giant? No, it's Might. Ten points for this. Give both answers promptly, naming two of the three cities of the Southern Hemisphere that have hosted the Olympic Games. Imperial Wong. Uh, Rio de Janeiro and... Uh, I'm Melbourne. sorry, if you, are, if you buzz, you must answer. Anyone want to buzz from Strathclyde? Strathclyde Walsh. Rio de Janeiro and Sydney. Correct. The other one is Melbourne, of course. <laughs> so, Strathclyde, your bonuses are on the Belgian scholar and critic Simon Lees. Simon Lees' 1971 work, The Chairman's New Clothes, challenged the romanticised Western view prevalent at the time of which national leader who'd come to power in 1949? Uh, Mao Zedong. Correct. As a lecturer in Chinese literature in Canberra, Lee's students included which future diplomat and politician who became Prime Minister of Australia in 2007? Uh, Rudd. It was Kevin Rudd, yes. And finally, I have never seen anyone who loved virtue as much as sex. Those words appear in Lee's 1997 translation of the Analects, of which philosopher born in about 551 BCE? Could that be Thales? Thales, maybe? He was, he was quite early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. uh, nominate Star Marshal. Thales? No, it's Confucius. Right, we're going to take another picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a painting. For ten points, please name the artist. Imperial Khan. Da Vinci. Da Vinci is correct, yes. <laughs> that was St John the Baptist. So the model for that is widely believed to be Leonardo's apprentice and assistant, Salai. Your picture bonuses are three more portraits of artists' assistants. Name the artist in each case. Firstly... I should know, it looks British. Should I go with Reynolds? Go for it. Reynolds? No, that's Velasquez. Oh. That's Juan de Pareja, a slave at the time of the painting, later a painter in his own right. Secondly... Uh, could be Matisse. Mm, yeah. Matisse? That is Matisse. That's Lydia Delectoskaya, who worked with Matisse for two decades. And finally... Uh, this is, uh, what's it called, Lucian Freud. Lucian Freud. It is Lucian Freud. That's his assistant, David Gorsuch. <laughs> right, ten points for this. A symphonic suite of 1888 by Rimsky-Korsakov has what title, which is also the name of the narrator of the tales of the Arabian Nights upon which Imperial it is Imperial Roman. Scheherazade. Scheherazade is correct. Set of bonuses now on films whose titles begin with the same two words. In each case, identify the film from the description. Firstly, Howard Hawks' 1946 adaptation of a novel by Raymond Chandler. It stars Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Uh, I think he said it was two words. Same two words. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's The Big Sleep. It's also a real job role. Uh, I think it's in there. Come on. The Big Sleep. The Big Sleep is correct. A 2015 Oscar-winning film, secondly, described the as the strongest... The Big Short is correct. And finally, the Coen Brothers' 1998 crime comedy starring Jeff Bridges uh, as a... The Big Lebowski. Bonus. The Big Lebowski is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In 1909, in what turned out to be an accurate prediction, Mark Twain said, I came in with it in 1835... Imperial Halley's Roman. Com Halley's Comet. Halley's Comet is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on UNESCO World Heritage Sites. In each case, name the Canadian province or territory in which the following are located. Firstly, Old Town Lunenburg, described as the best surviving example of a planned British colonial settlement in North America. Colonial settlement in East Coast. Ontario? Ontario? No, it's Nova Scotia. Secondly, Dinosaur Provincial Park and Head Smashed in Buffalo Jump. The latter is where Aboriginal peoples chase their prey over a precipice. None of it? No, it's Alberta. Finally, Lens aux Meadows, National Historic Site, evidence of the first European presence in North America. Newfoundland. Newfoundland and Labrador is correct, yes.
Right, uh, there's about two minutes to go, ten points for this. In Norse mythology, Valhalla was believed to be part of which realm connected to Midgard by the Bifrost ah. Bridge? Strathclyde Welsh. Asgard. Asgard is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on bones of the human body. In each case, give the scientific name from the common name. Firstly, the stirrup bone of the inner ear. It articulates with the incus. <laughs> Come on, let's have it, please. Come on. Stapes. Stapes. Stapes is correct. Yes, you've got to be quicker, though. Second, the collarbone. Clavicle. Clavicle. Correct. Finally, the kneecap. Patella. Correct. Right, ten points for this. Described as a small, fleshy excrescence, the structure called the lacrimal caruncle joins the innermost external edge of which organ... Imperial con. The eye. The eye is correct, yes. yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on novels associated with the genre of magic realism. In each case, name the author. Firstly, The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde. Juno Diaz. It's a 2007 Juno novel Juno by... Juno Diaz. Juno Diaz is correct. Secondly, which Mexican author wrote the 1989 novel Like Water for Chocolate? I don't know, uh, Octavia Paz. No, it was Laura Esquivel. Which Nobel laureate's works include The New Life, Snow and The White Castle? Pass. Well, that's Orhan Pamuk. Ten points for this. The surname of which Jacobean translator appears in the title of the early 19th century poem that begins, Much have I travelled in the realms of gold? No idea, none of you? It's George Chapman on first looking into Chapman's Homer. Right, ten points for this. New Zealand was named after a region of which country following... Imperial Wong! Netherlands. Netherlands is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on Indonesia. Arche and Lampung are respectively the northernmost and southernmost provinces of which Indonesian island? Sumatra. Correct. What name is given to the part of Indonesia that comprises the majority of the island of Borneo? Uh, Kalimantan, Kalimantan. Nominate Raman. Kalimantan. Kalimantan is correct. Denpasar is the largest city of which of the lesser yeah. Sunda islands? Bali. East of Java. Bali is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Characterised by massive stone pillars and round arches, what style of architecture is depicted on the... <laughs> and at the gong, Imperial College London have 155, Strathclyde University have 190. Well, you didn't quite make it, but you nearly did. You nearly did. You were coming back well there. Strathclyde, congratulations to you. That was a terrific performance, although not so much on uh, rap in Atlanta, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match, but until then, it's goodbye from Imperial College London. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Strathclyde University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.